Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be installing a wig from Sinashore Hair. Inside the package, I received a wig cap, a silk wrap, elastic band, lashes, and the wig that I'll be installing. This is how the wig looks straight out the package. I didn't bleach or pluck anything. The wig is a highlighted body wig 30 inch frontal wig. Now this is what the wig looks like after I plucked the hairline and hot combed it in place to how my client wants it styled. The first thing I do after placing the wig exactly where it needs to be on my client's head is make a dotted line. This dotted line is so that I can know exactly where to place the glue down. After you've made the dotted line across your client's hairline, you can then lift the wig back and clean your client's hairline so you can apply your first layer of glue. The glue that I use for my installs is Erica J's Hold Me Down Adhesive. I use three thin layers for each install, spreading it evenly across my client's hairline. This is what the glue looks like after it has completely dried. As you guys can see, it's cleared and the wig is ready to be placed on my client's head. The first part of the wig that I place down is the middle. I line it up with the middle of my client's head and stretch the middle so that it can be placed down properly without any rolls in it. After the middle of the wig has been placed down, I then move on to the sides. When I'm placing the sides of the wig down, I pull it towards the back of my client's ear so that it doesn't end up with any rolls in it. The next step that I do after placing the wig down is cutting off the extra lace. The first part that I cut off is the middle of my client's wig. I use small silver scissors so that it'll be easier to cut in a zigzag motion. After I finish cutting off each section of the lace, I use a thin layer of glue and place it on top of the lace to give it a better hold. This will not leave your lace feeling sticky if you use a small amount of glue. After the glue has dried clearly, you can then use a tail comb to press the lace into the glue. Thank you. 
When you're cutting off the side of the wig, you want to make sure that you leave enough lace on so that the braids aren't visible. Now you can repeat the same steps on the next side of the wig. After you've cut off all the lace that needs to be cut off, you can then use the makeup closer to your client's skin complexion to help blend the lace better. On my lighter skin tone clients, I don't like to use makeup inside of the wig. I like to apply it after on this step because if I use makeup and place it inside of the wig, it might be a little bit too dark for their complexion. Which, when I do it this way, it'll be easier to see what matches better. After placing all the makeup that is needed, I then used a melting spray and placed the black elastic band down to give the lace time to melt. This is what the wig looks like after the lace has been melted. Now I'm going to start to do my client's baby hairs. For the baby hairs, I cut them in a diagonal line, kind of short so that it can look natural. Now I'm using my small pencil flat iron to curl the baby hair so that when I swoop them, it'll be easier to do. For the baby hairs, the products that I'm using are Got To Be Glued Gel, the black one, and I'm using Cream of Nature Mousse.
this is what the wig looks like in its natural state. We're going to flat iron this wig bone straight. Now that the baby hairs are completely dried and the hair is flat ironed, I placed some bio silk on the wig and now I'm hot combing it in place so that the hairs can be neat and in place. After I hot combed the entire wig in place to how I want it to lay, I used the angled brush and the makeup closest to my client's skin complexion to make the part sharper. And this is the finished look. I lifted up the baby hairs and combed them out a little bit. And this is how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And continue watching for more clips of the finished look.